Hey Underwater Adventurers, join us as we explore a shipwreck and a reef. Come say hi, Maddie. Hey, how are you all? Hope you're okay. Let's dive. This dive site is awesome. The sunken ship has become part of the environment. Thousands of polyps have started to build coral on the hard surfaces and it's become a shelter for fish. Come on, let's go swim through the heart of the wreckage. Keep your goggles peeled. What marine life can you see? Ooh, I think that's a leaf scorpion fish. And that is a map puffer, a type of puffer fish. Whoa, this one's huge. I think it's a black snapper. Or maybe a sweet lips. Greg, have you looked up? Is that... Is that a sea turtle? Oh, I hope it comes back later. Why don't we move a little further from the wreck and see what we can find there? Oh, it's a blue starfish. They're found in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. That's where we're diving today. I've spotted something I think everyone will recognise. It's a clownfish. Oh, wait, there are two. Clownfish rarely leave their anemone. That's the jelly-like thing with tentacles we can see below. The clownfish can hide amongst the tentacles for safety. Those tentacles sting other animals, but the clownfish are used to it. The clownfish help the anemone too, and will chase away some animals that pose a risk. I guess. Oops, let's not bother these two anymore. Bye, Nemos! I've spotted some cool fish over here. That's a Moorish idol. Do you see its beak like mouth and long dorsal fin? They can be 18 centimetres long. And that is an emperor angelfish. It swims so gracefully. Greg, we've got something cool. Look down there, in that hole. What is that? It's a mantis shrimp, and I think it's going to come out and say hi. Mantis shrimp are amazing. They can detect ten times more colour than a human. Whoa! It also has two appendages that fold beneath its body, but with one swift movement, they can spring out to strike prey at the same speed as a bullet. Well, Mads, pose for a photo. Cheese! <laughs> Let's go for a swim and see what else is lurking around. I've seen lots of these black feather stars. They have flowing arms like fern branches that grab bits of plankton passing by. Ha! That one just did. And this thing over here is awesome. They're commonly known as sea slugs, but its actual name is a nudibranch. Look how colourful it is. Can you see the little tentacles on its head? It uses these to recognise chemical signals. This is the dive symbol for nudibranch. You do this with your fingers. Look, I've seen another starfish. This one is called a coriaster. It looks like bread. <laughs> well, its nickname is the Doughboy Starfish. <laughs> Whoa, look at this fish. Where? There. Where? There. It's a type of scorpion fish. It's really well camouflaged. We best back away, though. Scorpion fish have poisonous spines. Ooh, this coral looks like an enormous plate. I know, let's go back to the wreck and see if anything else has turned up. Good plan. It must be time to go to the surface soon. Maddie? Is that...? Yes! A sea turtle! I think it's a hawksbill turtle. Wow, what an incredible way to end our dive. Look, it's munching on the algae. That is really special. <laughs> well, it's time for us to surface. Bye, turtle. Thanks for joining us, you lot. How should we say goodbye? Bubbles from me. And bubbles from me. See you soon. <laughs>